Hi everybody, and welcome to the next episode of Life with Zach. Today, in our weekly review, I'm going to bring you another discussion of my ambient weather station. Now, this is the model 2902C. Um, I got it for Christmas last year, which was about six months ago now. Um, and I had an initial review that I'll link to back in the description that talks about where the uh, actual base station, the display, is mounted in my house, how I got everything set up, the Wi-Fi and all that. But today I wanted to talk about the actual weather station itself when I came up here to check on some spider webs that had grown up and to make sure it was all cleared of debris. Now, as you can see, I have mounted this weather station on top of my building roof, um, which is about 300 yards from my house, which you can see there in the background. Um, I was a little concerned initially that it might not have enough range, because uh, that's about the maximum distance. Uh, but when I checked it out, it had excellent signal strength, um, a full set of bars. So I've never had any issues with it picking up that far away. Uh, the reason is here on top of this building is because this is the tallest unobstructed point in my yard. Um, you can see I have two big trees there, so putting on the house is not necessarily the best option because those trees uh, are near the house and I didn't want to put it up on like the chimney or something like that. Uh, there isn't anything around here at all uh, and basically what I did was I got this big old uh, TV antenna mount um, that someone was getting rid of took it off their house, brought it over here, cut the pipe, and stuck this on here. Um, basically, this rusted pipe part is the TV antenna mount, and this bracket is the weather station, um, what came with that. And it is relatively easy once you get your mount located. Um, this bracket just screws on, and then you have to keep it level. That's the most important thing, and there's a level that's built in right here, that you can see has a spot in the middle where basically you keep that bubble level and you're good to go. You also of course have to get it pointed in the correct direction uh, because here is the wind speed direction feature. Uh, so if you get that thing pointed north there's an arrow on here um, that will help guide you so you can make sure that north is the correct direction. So like right here is this arrow. It's kind of hard to see because we're kind of far out. Uh, but there's an arrow there, you make sure that's basically pointed north, and you're good to go uh, once everything is set up. Um, basically, you set this on here again, get it level, get it pointed in the right direction, and then tighten these down. Uh, now, the features on this weather station are, of course, the wind direction, um, the wind speed feature over here. Uh, this measures rain. Um, how much rain we've received there inside here is a like a coil that basically picks up the rain uh, and then up on top of here is a panel that picks up your UV sun uh, how much sun is out during the day and then here is your actual transmitter for the Wi-Fi uh, which like I said picks up very good between here and the house now this has been incredibly stable uh, the whole time I've basically kept a good eye on it, uh, the way I had it mounted, but you're going to want to make sure that things like your bolts and everything are well drilled in. Um, you can actually find these mounts, if you can't find a used one like I did, um, these types of things, go out and look for TV antenna um, mounts. They're a lot cheaper than the ones that come from Ambient, and um, they're pretty easy to put up. They're the ones that basically supported old style TV mounts that people still have, the TV antennas on their house. You can get one of those and just basically put a pipe in the mount uh, that you can pick up at the hardware store or something. And then, like I said, just bracket this on here and it goes right on. Uh, now, the this is powered with a battery, okay? Um, I've had it up for six months and it's dropped down one bar so far. So I'm kind of assuming it is going to last at least a year and a half before I have to replace the batteries. They are, I think it's AA batteries. They basically mount here on the underneath. So that is going to be a kind of a pain, I guess, when the time comes that I have to come up here and change those batteries. I'm going to have to take the whole thing off and then 
recalibrate everything, but I think it took me maybe, once I had the post mounted, it maybe took me about 10 minutes to get everything straight, and the hardest part was holding the compass and getting that all correct so that this was, again, lined up. Uh, the other things I just had to do, um, because this pipe is hollow, I got some spray-in insulation and sprayed inside of it, so like bugs and especially bees and things can't get inside of it. But like I said, there has been really no issues except for I noticed this giant uh, pile of cobwebs that has kind of grown up on here, and I didn't want that to interfere with the rain detection and things, so I wanted to clean that off a little bit. This is the first time I've had to do that in the six months since I've had this. <laughs> Excuse me. And, um, but basically, like I said, this has been pretty reliable. It has picked up the rain and everything that I need. Um, I've compared it with the other weather stations in the area. So, I, there's, I don't know how many ambience are around, but I know there are quite a few on Weather Other Ground and some of the other apps that I broadcast to. And I basically monitor it, and, you know, the wind, the direction, the rain and everything has been fairly consistent with all the others so that's how I know that it is accurate um, and then it's picking up it shows me the temperature um, on my home display um, the amount of rain that we've received uh, the wind direction the UV um, and the wind speed uh, now on the app of course I can graph all that uh, the ambient weather app can graph all that so that I can get that information over the past like 24 hours so I can see what conditions are so like when I'm at work has it rained at home and I can go in there and look to see how much it's rained when it rained and all those other good things that go with uh, the weather station um, it is held up pretty well you know it hasn't faded or anything with the sun and it's been up here for like eight months now and again nothing has broken nothing has malfunctioned really have had zero issues with this at all since I got it. So I've been extremely happy with this ambient uh, 2902C weather station. When I did all the reviews and everything initially, it seemed like definitely the best one. So I think if you're interested in one, definitely check this out. You would be pretty well pleased with it. Um, so if you have any questions or anything, be sure to leave those in the comments. I'd love to hear what questions or anything you have or your experience with this weather station. Um, if you like this, hit subscribe. There will be other reviews of other things coming out really on a regular basis. And as always, uh, hit like if you find value from this video. I love to get feedback from everyone on how well they're enjoying this and what other things they would like to hear. So thanks again for tuning in for LifeSack and have a wonderful day.